Why is there such a decrease in testosterone levels in men in comparison to earlier generations? Hmm. What's your well, idea? Well, think about how much the world has changed. First of all, EDCs, right? So for those that don't know what an EDC is, it's uh, an endocrine dis disruptive compound. You have so many things in the world today that we didn't have 50 or 80 years ago. Or let's even go back 24, you know, when I was a kid, 30 years ago. And endocrine disruptive compounds we have first. Let's just start with technology. Let's think of the external factors, not even the ones that we're holding in our hand. There's so much Wi-Fi and Bluetooth going around right now, okay? So this is all so much, everything is wireless technology, cellular technology, uh, internet technology, so much radio waves going right now. And remember, your endocrine system begins in the hypothalamus and follows into the pituitary gland. These are the glands that release the signals for the rest of the glands in your body to produce hormones. So when you're disrupting at the very top of the chain by sending these waves through your brain, everyone's wearing these wireless headphones and ear pods and cell phones, and you're putting so much basic uh, um, uh, waves through your brain, you're going to disrupt the flow. Remember, your brain operates on neurons and, and uh, electrical pulses. So when you interfere with those pulses, the same thing they tell you, put your, put your phone in airplane mode, you're going to interfere with the, with the transmissions potentially. Uh, you're going to also interfere with the transmission in your brain when you're constantly blasting it. Secondly, the quality of our food is absolutely atrocious. There's no more nutrients in food. A farm that used to go seasonal is now being turned over nine, 10 times a year. There's no more nutrients in the soil for your fruits, your vegetables. You're basically eating fiber at this point, okay? All of the chemicals that they're spraying everything with in order to make it nice and red and shiny, okay? I don't know if guys know this, but when you're, when you're buying salmon and it's nice and pink, they're actually injecting dyes and gases. Tomatoes are being injected with, with gas in order to make them plump and red. You're eating plastic. You're eating food-like products. So everything we ingest and everything we breathe and everything that we do from a technological standpoint is impacting us in a negative way. Now you couple that with lifestyle where today everybody is sedentary, okay? We used to have to have a face-to-face -face meeting and now we're sitting here doing video calls or we're on Instagram or we're on Facebook or you know, we're driving in the car and talking to the car and there's no more physical activity. So people are sedentary, people have become lazy and then on top of that, we're, we're throwing EDCs at them. So naturally, everything is going to decline. Uh, I'm seeing patients that are now like in their 20s and they're coming in with low T symptoms. A lot of it is depression, induced, poor sleep. Uh, social media has really done a number on people's self-esteem, okay? Because you go online and you see everybody in their perfect world, all right? They got the new car, they got the vacations, they got the perfect house. You don't know that they're stressed or depressed or lacking sleep. You just, they don't post that stuff. They only post perfection. So you're looking around you and everyone you follow has a perfect lifestyle. And then you're sitting here and you're saying, why am I the only person on earth that has these problems? That exacerbates this, this depression, right? That's causing, and that again, lowers and disrupts your sleep cycle and your hormone pattern. So look at the world we live in. And, and, and that should really tell you why we're in a massive regression when it comes to men's health or, or human health overall. And now click on this video to learn more about TRT and hormone optimization.